Hi guys, Hyper Ladder here, the Norwegian gamer, and this is some uh, defense on Oasis, I believe. Yeah, I, I, let's say it is Oasis. Um, I've actually played some Rush again. I'm kind of it's kind of an on and off uh, game mode for me because uh, it really depends on your team how well you're gonna do, and <sighs> I don't feel like I'm I'm with good teams most of the time. It's just horrible teams, they're really stacked or something of that sort, and it just isn't fun to play. But what I really want wanted to cover is. Um, something that I've been thinking about lately which is um, the fact that PC graphics is now accelerating ahead and leaving console graphics in the dust um, especially uh, this uh, kind of um, uh, this commentary was kind of triggered when I heard her uh, heard heard um, uh, Woody's gamer tag actually called black ops a good-looking game and to me, that game looks horrible. It doesn't look nice at all. I mean, I sincerely believe that Bad Company 2 has better graphics. And I believe that that is actually the case too. But to really see the difference, you have to play it on the PC. And the same goes for Crisis 2, which Woody also said that uh, said hadn't that good graphics. I believe that to actually surpass uh, Bad Company 2 and at least Black Ops, I mean, that game looks gorgeous. And if there are comparisons on the web between the console and the PC version of the game, uh, like a YouTube video that shows the difference, and um, I'll put a link to that in the, in the um, description below. And the point is, it looks a lot better on the console and uh, on the PC I mean and it really goes to show that the PC is actually accelerating ahead and I believe some of that the reason behind some of that is because the consoles are now five-year-old machines they're not that new anymore and another thing is we usually get new consoles after five years that's when a new console version comes out and the generation leaps to the next step. But this time around, instead of developing new hardware, what Sony and Microsoft has done is actually uh, release peripherals that's supposed to, I don't know, enhance the experience. Uh, for ex this, these uh, peripherals are actually Connect for the Xbox and PlayStation Move for the PlayStation and instead of making new consoles they've made these two and I believe some of the reason to be that the next step in the evolution or the next step in consoles is not going to be a big graphical step at least it wouldn't be now so they're not making a new console and they've at least Sony have said that PS3 is going to last for 10 years like the PS2 has done and I really believe that they're gonna stick by that and I don't think Microsoft is going to put anything out before uh, far ahead of Sony I believe that they will put a, something their Xbox 720 out right before the PS4 so that they can get the upper hand like they did this time around but they're not gonna you know come out three years two years earlier perhaps a year but not much more than that I don't think so and uh, I, I just really think it comes to show when when you see speci especially crisis 2 and uh, and um, crisis 2 and uh, battlefield 3 those are two of the games that's coming out this year that is really pushing the limits of what's possible and not only graphically but also what's possible I mean destruction wise both games have some destructibility especially Battlefield 3 which has a lot of de destructibility and is kind of the selling point of um, of um, uh, what's his face Frostbite 2 <laughs> Frostbite 2.0 with the next generation of uh, destruction uh, so <coughs> I um, I really think that 
if you're taking yourself seriously and actually, um, how should I put it? Actually, take taking graphics seriously, console isn't the way to go. And I don't think I, I think from, that from this point on, on, I don't think that console players can really judge graphics anymore. I don't think that they have something substantial to base it on. I think that PC is probably the only proper graphics platform until we get a new uh, generation of consoles. So that's the end of the gameplay. Uh, we um, end up winning. It was an easy defense, really. We had just played um, attackers and we had crushed them like tiny ants. So um, that's all for this time. I hope to see you next time. Snuckies.